Alright, hey, hey everyone, today we're here with 350Z along Brooklyn Park. We got about 20 players out of 30 on right now, so we do have a decent amount of lag, but we should be able to get quite a few tandems. So far, it seems like everyone's working together. We've I've seen quite a few tandems going around, as I was just trying to get a few quick solo laps to practice and warm up. This is the first tandem of the day. Over rotation there, but that's all right. Now we're on their line here. We'll stay where we are to transition here. There you go. Got that transition down. There you go. Transition with them again. Kind of move in slightly here. Getting ready to transition. There you go. Beautiful transition with them. I gotta say, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to leave a like and a comment with your favorite part. Whoa. Beautiful train. Oh. That 180 just uh, hit the wall there. Kind of screwed us up, but that's all right. I hope you all had a great weekend. Hopefully you had some time to spend with your family or catch up on some tasks that you've been putting off. Hopefully, oh, oh, oh. if you're looking for sleep, you got some sleep. I know my stepdad is probably looking for some sleep over the weekend. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday. I'm gonna be going over to my parents' house tomorrow on Saturday. And the goal is to try and put up uh, another tire rack for their extra tires and clean up the garage a bit more. And then, but the, it depends. Um, <coughs> depends on if my stepdad still wants to do that or not. I was thinking it'd be something we could do together, so I might just do it alone. And uh, we'll see how that goes. There's also... Oh, Beautiful, right in there. I gotta do some grocery shopping later today. I meant to go yesterday. I took my grandmother to the movies again. Went to see uh, The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Absolutely amazing movie. And oh, I was, the goal was to stop and get groceries on the way home. But I took my regular exit and just came straight home. And completely forgot about the grocery store. And then I was going to go back out but my Instagram wasn't working so I spent a couple hours trying to figure out why I couldn't log I couldn't uh, nothing was loading on Instagram and then I figured out oh it's just website seems to be down in my area whoop to do and uh, but the grocery stores around my city close very early at night and so it was already too late to go and get some food <laughs> and uh, I just decided to go to bed early wake up and uh i got some eggs and a bit of bread left but it takes an hour to cook the eggs i know to some people it only takes a couple minutes to cook eggs um i can't eat overcooked scrambled eggs and i can't eat uh snotty undercooked whites either way it's just i i can't stand it i I, I, it's not happening. Um, <laughs> I like my perfectly cooked egg yolks. Oh, I take a lot of time to make my eggs. I like them perfect. Yeah, it takes a while to make my eggs, but what ends up happening is the white of the egg breaks down into just little particles and then starts thickening up the yolks and then you got this nice custard like spreadable egg yolk that you slowly cook down all the moisture out of and it basically turns into like a peanut butter spread right but of egg and it's so delicious every bite is just egg yolk <clears throat> that e36 there straightened out while we were in transition and decided to take out the leader what the hell was that about okay. sweet okay we finally got another cannon here everyone's just complaining about that guy hitting them and how everyone just trolls and 
gets jealous and blah 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 blah. It's it's um the chat is pretty freaking pathetic right now. The guy already left, it's been five minutes and they're still just sitting here complaining instead of drifting. It's been five minutes, just drift. Like who cares? <laughs> who cares that this one guy decided to try and ruin your day? and then left. Let him ruin his own day. He's gone. Like, just have fun. I was verbally bullied all through high school, and uh, I had to learn that you can't really let that shit get to you. And I, I let that shit get to me way too much back then. Um, and it still affects me to this day. I have a hard time going out in public or doing anything because I'm constantly anxious and worried that someone's going to be laughing at me or making fun of me. I have Tourette syndrome, so I tick a lot, and I used to tick on the bus a lot. I used to didn't want like a lot, a lot. It was really bad. Um, I was very claustrophobic on the bus because it was around a lot of people that I didn't want to be around, and so I was ticking all the time. And what ends up happening is, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> uh, when okay, so here we go. We got a tan in here. And basically, when it came to ticking on the bus, one of my main things I would try and do is just mouth the words of the song I was listening to, or try and rock, right, like head headbang to the music or whatever, right? Just try and do something to keep my mind busy and not tick. And uh, everything I would do would get made fun of. The ticking would be made fun of and pointed out on every occasion. And uh, whenever you would have someone trying to talk to you and someone else wanted to talk to you and you didn't just immediately cut off your friend and say, stop talking to me, someone else wants to talk to me, um, apparently you're now the jerk for not doing that. Apparently I'm a jerk for not cutting off my friend and listening to someone else who I don't even know, I don't even know their name, I don't even know they want to talk to me, no one's getting my attention, they're just randomly yelling. And apparently I'm now an asshole because I didn't pay attention to you? Like, get off your fucking high horse, dude. And they treated me like shit since that day. And the people that did it ended up being people that treated me like shit in elementary school. Um, they're all just dumbasses. <laughs> they don't have any fucking life. I guess they don't have a good family home. I don't know what it is, but I don't have a good family home either. But I'm not out there bullying people on a daily basis. Um... I was verbally assaulted, I was verbally abused at home on a daily basis all through elementary and high school and I never went to school and took it out on others, right? But instead I had them take it out on me. Again, so I had no safe space all through high school. So my mental state is uh, pretty bad because of that. And <clears throat> this game has helped me push through that a bit more. Um, whenever someone comes on here and tries to mess our day up, right, it's just a form of cyberbullying in a sense, right? It's pretty minor, right? Granted, it's very minor cyberbullying, right? It's basically just trolling. Like, it's, it's not, yeah, it, it doesn't really compare. But the fact that, look, they're still sitting there. It's been 10 minutes now, and the three guys that got hit off track are still sitting there spewing hate in the in the chat right they're, they're pissed off about getting hit off track it's been 10 minutes right they're still mad about it right they like, just forget about the hate move on with all the good and the love and uh you'll have a much better day going forward right i try to just ignore all of that and it's been helping me and over the last four years, I went from being I went from being addicted to pills and alcohol to now I yes I smoke a bit of weed because it helps with the ticking, but that's all, right? Uh, well, I mix a bit of tobacco, all right? Uh, the the tobacco is instant tick relief, right? If I'm ticking really bad, that tobacco, the nicotine stops that ticking immediately, while the weed takes a couple minutes to kick in but stays there for longer. And, uh, so, and, ooh, why are they hitting each other? I'm assuming that was an accident. Yeah, it must have been just like a little bump. Hey, buddy, don't, don't try and drive up onto the track while I'm right here. 
make sense. There you go. I'm gonna try and close this gap here again, like we had beforehand. Yeah, I went from being addicted to stuff, and now I'm sober and living an awesome, I'm living a better life. I'm uh, for those years of being on pills and alcohol, I never ate food, never cooked for myself, and even during the first couple of years of being sober. I didn't cook, I didn't eat properly. It was only until, it was only when I moved into this apartment where I got my own kitchen, and I actually got to start doing that kind of stuff. I lived with quite a few roommates, and they were all, one of them was an African lady who got to Canada by helping in the Ebola crisis back in the day. She was uh, in one of the Ebola tents giving, helping, uh, people get around the tents and making sure that people stayed away and stayed in the right area and she risked getting Ebola to get a chance to come to Canada and she then <clears throat> I was very scared during uh, the whole shebang that was going on a couple years ago and uh, after she explained that she had lived right she dealt with Ebola straight up and lived and like she this isn't gonna be what takes her out right <laughs> and uh i don't know there was something special she was like she was like a i don't know she just like her words just meant a lot at the time i was pretty alone didn't really have anyone and i was terrified of what was going on especially since one of our other roommates ended up testing positive at the time and uh or their co-worker tested positive at work and so there was like quarantine or it was just terrifying <laughs> uh, and then oh, <laughs> now i uh, have my own kitchen and i can do my own cleaning and my own cooking and it's Oh, it's amazing. It's thanks to my grandmother, though. Um, my grandmother helps me pay the rent. Right, I've explained that quite a few times so far. I'm very open about it. Um, basically, I was living in a master bed. I had a master bedroom in Ottawa for a very good price. It was probably three or four hundred dollars less than anyone else is paying for that room now. <laughs> um, landlord gave me a sweet deal because I had already been there for a year and was just upgrading rooms and had talked to the other tenant beforehand and knew the price they were paying and he understood my situation with not having a lot of money and so we agreed upon only an extra 50 bucks and I went from having the smallest room in the house to having the biggest room in the house and the other roommate was so freaking pissed off he's like Oh, I've been here for a year longer than you, and blah blah blah. That's, yeah, this this other roommate was absolutely pissed off about the fact that I got this bigger room, and he didn't. Even though he had already had a bigger room, and then upgraded to the upstairs bigger room, beside mine, and had been blasting music every night since, and was being a total asshole to everyone else in the house, and even at one point, he says he got held hostage to get this money from the other roommate but I'm pretty but the other roommate one of the other guys there said that it was just like he was part of the setup and there was all the, I don't know I don't know but there was some really sketchy stuff happening um and he ended up being evicted because of all of it like the landlord did not want that stuff happening in the house he was tired of having the police there all the time for noise complaints and uh so yeah, it ended up being just me for about three or four months, and I was paying $550 for basically, it was only me, right? So I had an entire house for $550. It was the best few months I've ever had.
Now, granted, I still didn't cook because the people who used to live there didn't clean up the kitchen when they left. And so the kitchen was a mess and I was just freshly sober and I wasn't cooking yet. I wasn't cleaning. I wasn't, I was just focusing on trying to exercise and take care of myself. And so that's what I did. Whoa. Alrighty, well, we've had a decent session here. Had some ups, had some downs. Hopefully I was able to motivate you guys and uh, get you guys up and doing what you gotta do. Hopefully it's exercising or spending time with family or, and it doesn't really matter, right? Just, we all have our own tasks that we're putting off or procrastinating and uh, it's time we get that shit done. So thank you all so much for the love and support on the videos. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Peace out, everyone. <laughs> yep, I saved the car, though. <laughs>